Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Hit and Move All Day Micro Mitts. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Hit and Move All Day Micro Mitts. These retail for $129. They come in one size and one colorway. The colorway is gonna be that stock Hit and Move colorway they use on some of their other products. It's gonna be this black with kind of this pearlescent reddish and orange leather, and you also have some gold trim. These mitts are designed here in the United States, but made in Pakistan utilizing full genuine leather construction. One thing to note is that these mitts are non-handed, meaning that if these were laying on the corner of the ring and you're the coach to pick them up and start doing some training, they're non-handed, meaning that there's not one that's made for specifically for the left or right hand. So it makes it nice in the fact that you can just pick these up, put them on and go and not have to worry about uh, it not fitting properly because one is made for the left or the right hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one down that way we can break this mitt down a little bit further. As far as dimensions go, the mitt itself horizontally, the diameter across is six inches. The height of the mitt is eight inches. It utilizes the EVA foam padding, which is about an inch and a half in thickness. You also have the laces at the bottom with that gold piping. That's where basically the padding is inserted into. It is covered on the fingertip area, meaning that it does not have an exposed fingertip. Um, that is both, I guess you can say, kind of a good and can be looked at as a bad thing. Um, if you do have longer fingers or uh, bigger hands, I've noticed that my coach, who does have longer fingers, had a little bit of an issue initially with it being a little bit on the shallow side. So he would put his fingers in here in his hand and it felt like his fingers were kind of jamming in this pocket right here. Um, if it was exposed, then you wouldn't have that issue. The only issue with that is once it's exposed, if your fingertips are coming out, you'll know that if you're, a lot of boxing coaches will tell you sometimes if the, the, you know, the boxer punches at the wrong angle, it ends up catching the finger because it's exposed. So if your fingers are too long and it didn't have that cover, then you run into the risk of your fingers being kind of exposed and then you might take a punch off angle or off target and it might snag one of your fingers, you might get an injury. So you do have that cover that goes all the way uh, on top right there. You do have perforated holes for a little bit of ventilation with that vertical hit and move uh, leather tag that's stitched on the back. I do like that, the fact that they use a piece of leather that's stitched on, it's not just printed on here or they use some kind of uh, piece of plastic. So I do like the fact that you have that on there. Um, you also have the back of the mitt, which has the seams in between the leather, more perforated holes, and the gold piping that goes at the bottom. Another nice feature they add is you also have the padded wrist support, which I'd say is about an inch and a quarter in thickness with a good medium density. And you also have that mesh right here. Uh, the inside of the mitt is very comfortable. It has almost kind of like a uh, microfiber mesh type liner on the inside, good for wicking away moisture, you know, being that it's kind of closed off on the inside of the mitt, this is going to be some kind of an area where that will harbor a lot of bacteria. It will probably start to smell kind of funky after a while. So I like the fact that they didn't use like a sta standard nylon material on the inside liner. They went with something that's a little bit more moisture wicking and uh, is nice in the fact that you don't get a lot of like sweat buildup on the inside. It dries away pretty quickly. And uh, show you guys the construction quality wise, it's pretty solid. Um, one thing I did notice on the other mitt was, you know, like little details, like the little, the hole right there on this perforated one wasn't poked out. Not a huge deal. Uh, outside of that, they've held up really nicely. The EVA foam on these mitts is very dense when you first get them. Uh, we've been using these for a while, but now you can actually see that they've broken in quite, a ni quite nicely. So because of that, these are the kind of mitts that you get that nice pop and bang. You'll also notice that it has a slight air pocket in the middle with a hit and move logo. So that's kind of recessed on the inside there. And you also have a palm ball when you put your hand on the inside. Um, as far as putting the mitt on, I don't know if you want to consider that could be convenience. I don't have the right word for it. But one thing I wish this mitt had is I wish it did have a strap that you can loosen 
this part of the mitt. Um, I guess you can call it the flap if you want to call it. Because what happens is this is a micro mitt, so it's a little bit more on the compact side. Is you'll notice that when you put your hand in here, it bunches on the top of your hand, that ridge, and it kind of pushes the leather in. And you kind of have to like walk your fingers into the mitt. And when you put that on, you can see kind of how it bunches up. Once your hand is in, it feels good. It just puts a lot of stress on the leather where if this had an adjustable strap and it was a little bit looser with a tab, then you can tighten it down. You don't have to worry about this constantly, just getting bunched up. And you can see it does the same thing with both. So you'll notice that when you slide your hand in here, it kind of pushes against the wrist support and you're kind of pushing against this flap. And so you can see I'm like doing a little creeper thing with my hand and it kind of puts a lot of like stress on the leather and then on that bottom wrist support. So um, in my mind, it would have been nice to have maybe a, a Velcro strap with a little, um, like a little D-ring right there to secure it and loosen it up. That way you don't run into that. And especially if you're somebody that has larger hands, thicker fingers, you'll, you'll run into that. Now, granted, these are micro mitts, so there's a little bit of an expectation when it comes to it being smaller. Now, in terms of it being a micro mitt, um, to me, with the pop and the feedback, the, the, the actual punch surface is much smaller. It's made for precision work, made for speed. Um, it's, it's, yes, you can use, technically you can use power on these mitts, but if you're somebody that's been a coach for a long time, for years, maybe you have a shoulder, arm injury, you just want to protect yourself, these are not going to be very protective in that regard. Now, it does have the nice features like a little wrist rest, but these are not the same as your standard air mitts or those big, bigger, larger mitts that are thicker, that have a bigger, bigger punch surface, that just basically have more of a safety net for the coach, the person that's holding the mitts, to be more absorbent of the power from the, from the person that's hitting them, from the boxer. Uh, with this, this is a much more smaller, uh, but the good thing with that is that you're, it forces the boxers to be much more precise with their punches. It also forces the coach to be much more accurate with the way they hold their mitts as well. Um, and again, precision. So that's what you're going with. You're going with more of a precise feel. Um, when I was hitting these, they felt great. I love the way that I got that nice pop and bang out of them. Um, my coach, Tommy, also said that it took a while for these to really break, break in. Um, I actually allowed him to use these mitts for a couple of weeks with his clients that he trains. And he said at first he hated them because of just the way the hand compartment felt kind of compact. But the more and more he used them, they started to break in and he started to enjoy them. But he also does say that um, he kind of limits it to more precision work, speed work. Um, some of his newer clients that um, he's trying to work on their technique, on really making sure that their jab and their straights really come out properly. Because uh, he says sometimes when you have a little bit of a bigger target, it, they tend to just kind of throw a little bit more wild with the shots where if it's more precise, it ch challenges them to really come in right at the target. And that little indentation, that little recess right there on the front of the pad also kind of visually cues you to punch right there uh, in the middle as well. But overall, really satisfied with the mitts. Uh, I think it has a couple of small things that can be tweaked with it, mainly the strap on the back um, and maybe even a larger version of it, a slightly larger version that's uh, larger, you know, bigger, uh, bigger for accommodating somebody with larger hands. Uh, but it does have really nice features with a little air pocket and a palm ball. I do like the wrist support, uh, maybe a couple other colorways. Uh, but overall, definitely a nice pair of micro mitts. Enjoy using these, they've held up nicely. The EVA foam is broken in nicely as well. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these hit and move all day micro mitts. I'll see you guys later. Take care.